What's up everyone, it's Edwin, and today I want to go over Poppy's new song that very much seems to be about Mars Argo. But before we get into that, I also want to discuss her recent statement which calls out her ex-boyfriend and longtime collaborator Titanic Sinclair calling him a manipulator, but I, I just, I couldn't help but notice some of the things that she said were pretty manipulative herself. Maybe she learned from the best? Let's have a look. To whom it may concern. I grappled with the thought of making this statement, but I decided to do this to set the record straight. As some of you may know, my former creative partner and I have parted ways. This was a long time coming, but this is a person whom I defended in the past because I thought he was just misunderstood. I'm sorry, what? Poppy defended Titanic because she thought he was just misunderstood? Let's go back a second here because when Poppy defended Titanic, it wasn't like she just said, you know, he's completely innocent, leave him alone. No, 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 no. Homegirl was much more vicious. Poppy stated that she believed Mars Argo's intention with her lawsuit was to build a publicity campaign for herself. That Mars Argo attempted to manipulate her psychologically by collaborating with a man who took advantage of her. Poppy also shamed Mars Argo for trying to exploit another female artist for personal gain out of bitterness and a desperate grab for fame. Poppy called Mars Argo's claim of stalking, harassment, and abuse towards Titanic preposterous projections of her own actions. Bruh, she's basically saying that Mars Argo is a stalker and abuser. This was all part of a big statement left by Poppy, and the only line in that entire statement that was a decent defense for Titanic was when she said, My creative partner is blameless and I am confident this case will be dismissed. And of course the case was not dismissed, it was settled, and um, I guess the truth didn't set Poppy free because she's contradicting her former self. Not to mention, Mars Argo hasn't done anything in the public eye since the lawsuit, so... How is that a desperate grab for fame? Homegirl was probably just chilling on her couch when she heard about this statement and was like, what? And that's what's scary about this whole thing. Poppy was ready to go straight for the jugular just because she believed that her boyfriend was misunderstood. I mean, some might think that's goals, but I think that's scary. <laughs> the reason I am making this statement is due to the amount of misinformation online about me and my character. And I owe it to myself to clear a few things up. I met this person at a young age and things were seemingly good for a while until echoes from his past were too loud to ignore. I was never an accomplice to this person's past actions like some believe. Okay, so hold on a second, because at first, I thought this was a sub to towards me because she recently false copyright claimed one of my videos to take it down, in which I presented the case that she was complicit in the lawsuit. I got the video back because, you know, you can't just take down people's videos because you don't agree with their opinions. But then I realized that Mars Argo herself called Poppy an accomplice. Girl, did we just both get indirected? Huh, high five. Mars called Poppy an accomplice for deliberately copying, stealing, and appropriating Mars's identity, aesthetic, likeliness, expression of ideas, content, and work. Whew. After saying she was never an accomplice, Poppy goes on to claim that she suffered similar things to Mars, but if that's true, then you are an accomplice because what Mars suffered was having her identity copied by you. I don't know, it's confusing because so far there, there's no evidence of anybody copying Poppy. Unless you're talking about suffering things within the relationship of you and Titanic that Mars Argo suffered. But then that's kind of convoluted because neither me or Mars Argo ca uh, called you an accomplice over the relationship stuff. We, we called you an accomplice for practically copying her identity. This is what I mean by Poppy being vague. It's very confusing. Anyways, let's move forward. This person glamorizes suicide and has used it many times in the past to manipulate me. And the last time I finally had enough. As a grab for attention, he messaged fans before he tried hanging himself while I was on tour with an item that belonged to me. These are the tactics that he used for years. So this is a part that is difficult for me to address because no matter what way you spin it, it it's just, not good you know on, on one hand she's outing someone's attempt on their life to hundreds of thousands of people you know this was covered by the media news out news publications and stuff so it's kind of humiliating and on the other hand you could say well he did that to manipulate her but she doesn't back it up it's like you don't want to doubt it, it's it's uncomfortable the whole phrasing is uncomfortable for me to read i mean poppy's shaming titanic for messaging fans right before his attempt I mean, that alone reads to me like how desperate the guy had nobody else to reach out to except a fan. And, and again, I say fan because it is singular. Uh, I saw the conversation with the girl and she messaged him and he just replied and said that he felt like dying. Like, this is so messy. 
But I did speak to Alex, Titanic Sinclair's brother, because after Poppy's statement, he began posting his frustrations on social media and he said that this was the detail that he found disturbing and unnecessary for Poppy to include in her statement at all. We shot a conversation slash interview, which I'll be uploading after this video, but for now, let's get back to Poppy's statement. This person lives an illusion that he is a gift to this earth. He weaved himself into a storyline, wanting the public to believe he was a puppeteer, which is so far from the truth. Dang, she just roasted that ex-boyfriend Titanic like a marshmallow. When I read Poppy saying that Titanic wanted the public to believe that he was a puppeteer and it's so far from the truth, these things, amongst other things that she said in public before, are the things that reinforce my belief that she's not this helpless slave that people seem to think of her as, you know? Because no matter, anytime anything remotely negative comes out from Poppy or her camp, everything always goes straight to Titanic did it, it's all Titanic. It's like, they're a team, you know, they're a collaborative team. You can't just pin it all to one person, especially when she's emphasizing that, yo, I have some say in all this. Furthermore, when she became Poppy, it's not like it was a forced decision that she just signed her life away, you know? She chose to stop talking to her old YouTube friends. I have acquaintances that knew her and then told me that she just cut them off like that. She took down someone's song because it had her old identity in them, you know? Like a music video that this person produced. She chose to erase her past and she chose to get rid of her old friends all on her own. In a recent interview with Alt Press, the interviewer said, it's evident that you collaborate with your team, but also you stand alone as an artist. To which she replied, I'm glad that's evident. It's funny when I get questioned on that because it plays into the attitude of girls are weak or they don't know. I never viewed myself as a weak person. When people go down that path, they think just because somebody's a girl, they're weaker. I've never felt that way. Many people even speculated that Titanic ran Poppy's Twitter, but just last month, Poppy clarified that it was never the case. And even when she released that statement, completely taking a dump on Mars Argo, everyone wanted to believe that, oh, it was probably written by Titanic. But right here, she just said that she defended him. Now, I wanna emphasize that just because I'm saying that I do believe that Poppy has a say in things that she said publicly, it does not mean in any way that I believe Titanic is any less of a manipulator. I still believe that because of so many examples that are given to us online, you know? It's just that, I think that it's interesting that people believe just because she said that he's a manipulator, suddenly she never partook in her own actions. And I just want to clarify, because of the way some Poppy fans have come at me in the past, that yes, it is very possible that Titanic led her to, to think a certain way or believe certain things. However, at the end of the day, it was still Poppy making these actions. You know, at the end of the day, even if you're manipulated to doing something, you still did it. She still caused all this anguish onto Britney. Acknowledging that she was manipulated in similar ways by the same man as Britney may explain, but it does not excuse or apologize for the actions and anguish that she caused onto Britney. In light of recent events brought to my attention, he is already quick to jump in and use my former friends as his next experiment, repeating manipulative patterns he has for years. Once again, this is so vague and I wish it was just announced more of details because my immediate reaction is to think, wait a second, was Titanic planning to make another Poppy? Because if so, then that 100% contradicts Poppy's earlier statement that she was not an accomplice because that confirms that she maybe was suffering the same thing that Mars Argo suffered in that somebody else is copying her right now. But we don't know. This just sounds like a conspiracy all of a sudden, you know? which again is on brand with Poppy. And the reason why I have a problem with this is because it's a pretty loaded accusation despite it being so vague, you know? And if it's true, then we may never know because it would be ridiculous for Titanic to fulfill this prophecy, so to speak, you know? And he could just deny it, you know? He could deny it. But how do we know that his denial isn't being truthful because Poppy never provided any sort of evidence or anything to back it up? He could just say, no, it's not true. Do you see what I mean? But of course, it is easier to believe Poppy over Titanic because he's already got a much worse past than she does. Oops, sucks for you, bro. <laughs> I was trapped in a mess that I needed to dig my way out of. And like I always do, I figured out how to handle it. I encourage those of you who feel trapped in a situation, whether it be similar to my previous one or not, to take the first step because that is the most difficult one. No, but in all seriousness, what is the situation and what is the mess? I mean, the whole thing almost sounds like just a piggyback off of Mars Argo's claims. Like we're just supposed to pick and guess what he did to Poppy was what he did to Mars Argo, but which which one? Did, did, did he do everything that was in the lawsuit or, or which part? Because to me, honestly, like honestly speaking, it really comes off of his, like he repeated the same manipulative patterns in the relationship because nothing so far points that he controlled her career moves at all. Um, but again, how do we know? You know, I'm just, I'm just basing this off of what I'm reading. This is not a request for sympathy and I am not a weak victim. 
but this is me setting the record straight. I am happier than I have ever been, and I'm excited to move forward. I guess if there's a moral in all this, it's that it's really easy to believe the worst about someone when all you know is the worst about that someone, you know? We don't really need much to believe Poppy and just take her word at face value that, well, everything she said must be true because everything we've heard about Titanic so far is the worst. Now, again, I'm not saying that she's lying in any way. I'm just saying, like, girl, when you're making such bold accusations, it'd be great to have something to back it up, you know? Because so far, so much of what Poppy says is a literal contradiction or, or just confusing. I mean, it seems like she's trying to remove Titanic off of the credits of the entire album, even though he produced and co-wrote the entire album with her, you know? Recently in an interview, she said she wrote the album with Zach and Chris, but not Titanic? Was it intentional to not have any features on this project? Yes. So you're like, it's all me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all Poppy all the time. And did you make this record with the same with the same group of people? Who did you work with on I Disagree? I worked with my friends Chris and Zach, and it was a very special experience. That totally contradicts her interview in which she said that she wrote the album with Chris, Zach, and Titanic. Furthermore, people have been noticing that she's been scrubbing Titanic's name off of her videos on YouTube, you know, like where it says directed by Titanic. She's just like pretending that he never did anything, I guess. These hints of Poppy trying to take all the credit for her music when Titanic was involved by her own admission are starting to remind me of the things that Titanic would say when he was involved with Mars Argo, you know, when he was like, I did it all. It's almost like Titanic built a little AI. <laughs> he literally built the robot AI Poppy and then she overtook him and became smarter and outsmarted him at his own game. Oof. And even Chris, the guitarist of the band and the album, went out of his way on Instagram to credit everybody involved in the production of the album, which very clearly includes Corey, Titanic. I guess I can't help but call it the irony in Poppy saying that Titanic is a manipulator when she's manipulating her audience in a different way. And again, I want to remind you guys that I am no fan of Titanic. I mean, he co-wrote Poppy's new album with her and her newest single, Anything Like Me, you can't convince me this song is not about Mars Argo. <sighs> the video starts off with Poppy looking at her own reflection and singing the words, I feel her heart beating in me. Get her out of me. So this kind of tells me that she looks at her own reflection and she can't help but see Mars Argo. She can't get her out of her. Some of the words in the song say, Sorry for what I've become because I'm becoming someone. Your hand on my neck, you call up the press. And this resonates with Poppy calling out Mars Argo for having her lawsuit be on TMZ. I'll stop when it's no more fun. If this is a start, then let's see how far you're gonna take this one. So it was fun for Poppy to taunt Mars Argo until the point that Mars Argo ended up suing her. So she's now seeing Let's see how much farther you take it now that I've made a song. <laughs> Again, this is only my interpretation, but Jesus, come on now. And the chorus is, you shouldn't be anything like me. You'll never be anything like me. I feel like Poppy is really cemented on the idea that I am Poppy. You are not like me, okay? I am not created after you. <laughs> Jeez. This isn't a fight to be won. Go on and give up the gun. This could be a reference to that one video of Mars Argo where she's holding a gun. I'm everything she never was, now everyone's out for my blood. This feels like Poppy denying the similarities between her and Mars Argo and the way she says, now everyone's out for my blood, talking about like her haters probably saying like, hey, you're just like Mars Argo, you know, relentlessly reminding her about Mars Argo all the time. Where's Mars Argo? Oh, shit! Oh, 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 you're making a scene, you're coming at me with blood in your teeth. Anyone remember this exhibit from the lawsuit? Okay, so maybe you still think it's a bunch of typical poppy coincidences. Well, how about this? She was recently interviewed and asked about what the significance of the track Anything Like Me was, and she said, It's one of my favorites on the album. I can't wait to play it on tour. The hook, You'll Never Be Anything Like Me, You Shouldn't Be Anything Like Me. The significance, it's about a personal trial and what I went through. I think it's one of the ones, if you know, you know. I don't really want to explain too much. Oh, come on. I can almost see her winking at me as she says, If you know, you know. But hey, maybe I'm just reaching. What do you guys think? Is, is it just another poppy coincidence or do you think it's about Mars Argo? And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see a poppy video, a Mars Argo video always comes on the up next on YouTube. So maybe that's like another reminder that she wants to get rid of, you know? And speaking of Mars Argo videos, one of her videos, her Using You music video, recently got claimed by WMG, which is Warner Music Group, the record label that owns Sumerian Records, which is Poppy's record label. Another coincidence. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. My next video is going to be an interview with Alex Mixter, who is Titanic Sinclair's brother, because he felt the need to speak up after hearing Poppy reveal his brother's attempt. I don't know, this is getting messy, guys. Whew. 
I guess the settlement really didn't settle all that much, huh? All right, see you guys in the live stream tomorrow. Peace out.